morning, guys.
guys knew that you were going to a place where something like that was going to happen. Your friend was going to betray you, you were going to get arrested, then you were going to get beaten, you were going to spit on you, they were going to make fun of you, then you were going to get nailed to a cross and you were going to die. And he still went. How many of you would still go to that place? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I see a lot of love right now. That's what it took for Jesus to do that. Because he loved you guys so much that he didn't hold heaven without you. He left all the good, what did we have? All the good comforts of heaven with the pillows and blankets and the old chocolate chip cookies. And, and that was kind of, you know, maybe some of the comforts that they have in heaven. But then Jesus left all of that. The whole king of the world left all of that stuff in heaven so that he could come down here to this criminal earth mean to each other because he didn't want to spend another minute up there in heaven without you guys by his side. So he knew what he had to do. And remember we talked about sin, about Jesus had to, he, he carried the weight of all of our sin on that cross. And every time they hammered that nail in his wrist, that was Leslie telling a lie. That was Leslie taking something that didn't belong to her. That was less than not asking God for help. That was any sin that I had, any sin that you had, every time that hammer hit that nail, that was Jesus taking that sin away from me so that I didn't have to live with that sin for the rest of my life and stay out of heaven. And we had our sin stones, right? Y'all remember the sin stones? Yeah. And we took one for everything that we might have thought we had done wrong just off the top of our heads. And they didn't weigh very much, did they? They didn't weigh very much, did they? Well, what? Me, for me, I had well, you two chose all the big ones. <laughs> you chose all the big ones. And then, and then, and then, whenever we got to the one where have you ever told a lie, we just all grabbed handfuls. <laughs> we had a damn handful. I was not. <laughs> yeah. And then, what if you guys had to carry a stone every single day for the rest of your life for each sin that you had? It'd get pretty heavy, wouldn't it? I wouldn't be able to fuck with it. Me neither. Me neither. You wouldn't be able to see me. I'd just be piled up in the end Yeah. Boom! That's right. But because that hammer and that nail, that day on that cross, we don't have to carry those sins. Um, and we'll be hauled to places Wouldn't it though? We wouldn't fit in the car. You know how big cars would have to be? <laughs> <laughs> to carry to carry all of our sin stones, we would we'd each have to have our own bus. I think they even fit in a bus for well, your whole we'll lifetime. Have our own church car. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. You know, that's for sure. Car in the world. But then, yeah. but but then you got to 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 uh, think think about something too. Well, 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 but you don't even have a garbage box. <laughs> well, you can try to drive all that mess around. Exactly. You can drag it around. I've never seen a wheelbarrow that big. I see. You guys are going to wear a big too. Yep, never seen a wheelbarrow that big. I'm not sure that it's too much. You've got to be so okay. You've got to drop. And then you've got to drop the bike or not. Are you crazy? No. Then after Jesus died on that cross, they put him in that tomb. What happened? That's right. Jesus is alive. So he overcame death. He conquered death. He's up there now. That's right. So Jesus, whenever it seemed like he was not going to be a winner, whenever they did all that bad stuff and he died on that cross, it seemed like he wasn't going to be a winner. But three days later, whenever he came back to life, God laid life back in him, he was a big time winner, wasn't he? Well, we can be winners in Jesus, too. We don't have to carry around our sin. We just say, God, I sin. Please forgive me and help me not to do that again. And bam, it's gone. Just like that. You know how we remember whenever somebody does something bad to us, we kind of don't forget it right away? God is not that way. He throws our sin away, and it is gone from his mind forever. That's a good gift, right? <coughs> true forgiveness. True forgiveness. And true love. Jesus is true love. How about it? God gives good gifts. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> We're not on our horse. <laughs> 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 oh, I 
Alright, we all tell Miss Leslie thank you.